we're here. What a huge tree! Lesser Lord Kusanali. Good, you made it. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Then please begin. Preparing to access cognitive currents. Establishing waypoint. The Balladeer is actually doing what Nahida tells him. Guess he must want to stay alive. The rest is up to you. If you discover anything at all, make sure to share it with us. Will do. Huh. For once, we're the ones with nothing to do. Traveler, Paimon, would you like to talk? Yes, I've also invited Paimon to join. Huh? What the? We can talk to each other inside our heads? <laughs> That's part of it. Plus, we're all friends. There's nothing wrong with us talking like this once in a while. Paimon's never tried this before. This is great! I've been wanting to ask you something. Don't you think the Balladeer's a bit of a walking contradiction? He's always talking back, but he seems to listen to what you say. As I've told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to resolve. Things that are clear as day to me, but that he has yet to understand. Perhaps today will be the day that he finds some answers. Yeah, the so-called betrayals of a friend that just died. Yeah, this is a betrayal because of your friend actually dying of young age. Well done. Smart and attentive as always. So, you made contact with that part of his mind. Well, it's true. Betrayal turned the Paladir into the person he is today. Huh. Paimon thought nothing could get under that guy's skin. Turns out, he can get hurt and angry just like anyone else. Everyone has a history, Paimon. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. Speaking of puppets, we ran into two people at the Academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatarasuna incident. Nahida, do you know anything about that? If you mean the mysterious events, the Kabuki Mono and so on, yes. I know about all of that. Really? Because from what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatarasuna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. At least that's what they thought. Oh, how interesting. Those two managed to deduce quite a lot through guesswork alone. So the guess they got it right? Well, they guessed right about one thing. Tatara Suna was sabotaged. Must be a riveting conversation you three are having. Funny how all the good ones happen when I'm not involved. Uh, uh what makes you think we're talking to each other? <laughs> Don't insult me. You're having a private conversation without me. Obviously, I must be the topic of said conversation. Of course you do. You can't have your prisoner knowing too much. So, uh, have you found anything yet? 
still looking. Don't get your hopes up, though. You and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermensoul at all. Wait! How did you know about that? Didn't Ahita tell you? It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. I mean, I guess by now we're actually famous, but I don't think we actually say the detail that we are from another world. Although I guess he knew from the three, you know, the, the sender part. Right now, we have to keep the peace. I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself. And making cordial conversation is something I can manage. Huh? Wait. This light, it looks similar to those saplings. What could it be? Anonymous data. Hey, don't you forget the agreement. You have to share it with us. Shh. Just wait. Mr. Niwa, are you certain this is worth the risk? We are talking about Tatara Suna's furnace, after all. It may not pay to act rashly. There's no one else who can enter the furnace. It has to be me. Is that so? <sighs> well, since you insist. <gasps> it's... I have been in Tatara Suna for some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. Wow, hello, Nuka. Wait, this is an NPC, unique NPC. I'm actually stuck. I thought she's gonna be just in the CG cutscene, you know, the one that Hoya was gonna spoil in the trailer. But man, I never thought she gonna be you know, have a mother in game. Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place. Like a giant village. People are gainfully employed. Their lives have purpose. They are motivated. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. Okay, I may not so, but I feel this question mark guy is... I mean, I'm not sure who it can be because he doesn't have, like, a, a evil voice to say. Like, he can be an NPC we don't know or forget about. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, Others, unknown. All passing on their legacy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Okay, he's a Fontaine. I think he's a Fontaine character. But eh, for a moment I thought it's going to be some kind of character we don't know about. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own, at least not on the same time scale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me, and now every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. Even now, you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. I believe it is you, sir, who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. 
So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? My good sir, what do you mean? I tried to resist thinking it was all connected. Because I didn't want to speculate. And I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still, I suspect you understand it better than I do. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope. But that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? <sighs> I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torichio, the yokai struck down by the Shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside. Probably to my death. But what about you? What are you still doing here? Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. Drop the act! We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatara Suna has worked. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. A moment like this, where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. Wow, they're actually gonna do this. They can... You... You... <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well. At least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias, and that I was not from Fontaine at all. Huh? And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity, and what I seek in Tatarasuna. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Dot I? If you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Is that it? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Um, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. <laughs> Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. They'll be found out. But... I 
This makes no sense. What are you really trying to accomplish by all this? Why go to all this trouble? It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. Wait, how old is Dotter? Because I didn't have him be that old. How many segments? Or how long can he live? If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatui Harbinger. Call me... The Doctor. The... Fatui? Who... What do you want? Just to create a... minor inconvenience for your nation. That's it? That's why you... gave us your cursed technology? Just to let loose the evil energy from the Crystal Marrow? <laughs> Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you in mind. Okay, I don't know what to say. The Fatui are like behind everything. If they are so behind of all this that happened in the world, why did they, not, they don't rule the world already? Why now? Why the Fatui have to be like the default cause of anything? Congrats, now you redeem Scamus because the Fatui made him that way. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? You are not a human, don't I? <coughs> if you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. What do you... How you expect he's gonna keep that promise? He's just gonna say something was actually wasn't he that actually strike a blade at the but I can't remember that cutscene wrong. Can you remember? He has nothing to prove to anyone. Because not everyone just wants to use other people. The only ones who think like that. People like you. What a beautiful way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. Then out of respect for you, I shall redefine myself. Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. You simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. Okay, I'm gonna say this, but again for the toy. Why do you want him to be playable? I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. Mr. Niwa? Already dead. What a pity. <sighs> Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Creating a gap and infiltrating Inazuma's inner workings. <laughs> what fun it was. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, Let's make him our newest comrade. 
And if not, let's turn him to dust. <laughs> oh yeah, now he's angry. Hey, are you all right? Dottore. <laughs> <laughs> the Tore. <laughs> Good. Good. Was that the doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? Why do we see things from his perspective? When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, I read this memory in his mind. You have to admit, it must be the truth. So you have backup. Actually, why don't you actually look in the the toy's memory? Maybe they actually actually I'd not be surprised the toy is doing another mecha by now. Maybe so. But it means nothing. Oh, uh, stop lying to yourself. Does it? But this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray you. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. You know very well what that means. Even more so than I. Hmm. Give him some space. He looks really mad. Paimon doesn't want to be anywhere near him right now. Um, are you sure about that? Because did we forget what he says? Paimon means uh, go, if we go somewhere else, we may get lost. We need to give him some time to process his emotions. Paimon's still confused about the Tatarasuna incident. So, the doctor was behind it, but why has that gotten him so worked up? Nobody has ever deceived you like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps he needed to learn this someday. So now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the Kabuki Mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Later, the doctor showed up, disguised as the mechanic from Fontaine. And that's when the trouble began. It was all a horrific experiment planned by the doctor. Everything he did was just to plant seeds of disaster in Inazuma that would bear fruit in the future. Of all the unwitting participants in the doctor's experiment, the balladeer became the main test subject. After the events you just saw in that memory, the doctor put Niwa's heart into the device and handed it to the balladeer. Then, he instructed him to enter the furnace and absorb all the filth caused by the smelting process. Wait, what device? So, actually he has uh, the Niwa heart inside him? And somehow that got corrupted. Again, I'm kind of 50 50. Okay, let's say 70 more. But again, just because, you know, they cause all this. I mean, imagine the worst character in anime, or, you know, the. This being not Dio. Sorry, not Dio, not Dio, the judge one. Imagine after all he's done. He just wants to be ready. He wants to spread his time with his son, John, I think it was his name. Imagine all he did, doing that on all, all, all conscious. And then in the final pages of Jojo part six was or seven, you know, the one with the son or you know, last, 
Visa Nacha? Imagine after all that, when anything gets reset, Dio is a good guy. After all he has been through, just because something else changed to make him good. Again, I'm not fan of Scaramouche, maybe he's gonna be like right behind Ito. And I, I communicate, I just, you know, just like to hate on Ito because he's annoying, but at least he has some quality to him. But Scaramouche, he kind of is a, a really bad sign for this game. Because that's going to be the next Halveger. Oh, they have been tricked by the Fatui and the Fatui was the cause all along. And the Halveger is going to be, oh, okay, I'm a good guy and I'm going to be in your pools. I mean, how stupid that, that has to be. And yeah, I got to a long tangent, but I really don't know when to say this because I really planned for this video where I kind of talk about these topics, but... Oh. The load was far beyond what he expected, but the balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, This device seems to have protected me. What's in it? The mechanic answered, Mewa fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you a gift. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. He took it straight from the chest of one of his innocent servants. The mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing, but it has protected him from the filth. He thought Miwa had completely betrayed him, and yet this very betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the balladeer threw the heart to the ground and left to Tarasuna without looking back. Wait, she threw the heart? Holy moly! So the doctor killed an innocent man and pinned everything on the victim? That's terrible! Yes. Only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward. 